She was 360 pounds, not being able to move without a walker, burdened with disappointment and hopelessness, facing both extreme mental and physical challenges caused by the high-grade obesity. But then, one unexpected decision turned her entire life around. Welcome to Shape Squad, where today we bring you an incredible story of courage and transformation. We're about to share how one brave soul defied all odds, incidentally embracing the carnivore diet, to not only lose an incredible 120 pounds in just 10 months, but also to conquer the severe health challenges that came with extreme obesity. It's a true story that speaks to the sheer power of resilience and motivation. By the end of this video, you sure will strongly agree to the astonishing impact of basic dietary changes in our lives. And this is exactly how she narrated her amazing experience. When I was 18 years old, I was diagnosed with scleroderma, a chronic autoimmune disease characterized by hardening and tightening of the skin and connective tissues. This caused me a lot of joint pain, to the point where writing by hand was really painful. As a result, I stopped my everyday tasks like sewing, doing leather work, and typing for a long time. Apart from this, I was also diagnosed with Raynaud's phenomenon, which meant that my blood circulation was cut off in multiple fingers, and when the blood would start coming back, I'd be in a lot of pain. And this was not all, as my troubles kept growing day by day. I also had sleep apnea, a disorder where my breathing repeatedly stopped and started during sleep, often leading to loud snoring and feeling tired even after a full night's rest. And to top it all, I was diagnosed with GERD, a gastroesophageal reflux disease. It is a long-term stomach problem where acid from the stomach often comes back up into the food pipe, causing heartburn and a lot of discomfort. And because of this, I could not eat without having indigestion. At the time, I was super overweight, and eating almost anything would make me feel sick. Just imagine what a big mess my life had become. Going through all this, I developed severe depression and anxiety. My depression was really bad. I'd wake up every morning and tell my husband that I wish I hadn't woken up. I just did not value myself as a human being anymore. When I was 32, I had also developed type 2 diabetes. I weighed 360 pounds, and I could not move without a walker. Now this all had become too much for me to absorb. I could not see myself going a long way like that. And that's when I decided to do the carnivore diet. It was June 28th, 2022. What prompted this change was going to the hospital in severe pain thinking my time had ended. While sitting in the hospital bed, I remember looking over at my husband, and it struck me that all my choices in life had led me here. The next day, I went home and we got rid of all of the sugars and carbs in my house. I had previously done different diets, but they always led to me losing weight and gaining it again. I was introduced to the carnivore diet by my brother, who had lost roughly 50 pounds and had gotten extremely fit while doing it. Seeing this led me down a rabbit hole of watching Michaela Peterson and then Dr. Ken Berry on YouTube. I thought, if this can help her with her autoimmune issues, maybe it can help with mine as well. That was it. I was 100% in. Here I must admit, I had never experienced such a diet plan ever before. The carnivore diet is a high-fat, moderate protein, low-to-no-carb way of eating, resulting in massive health benefits. I ate things like eggs, beef, chicken, fish, and other types of meat, as well as butter and high-quality hard cheeses, with a trace amount of spices for flavor. I do not consume any fruits or vegetables, as the oxalates in them are highly inflammatory, causing my autoimmune issues to flare up. That being said, there are those who do great with some low-carb vegetables. I just happen to be one that can't tolerate it. Currently, a standard day of carnivore eating for me would be two eggs and two pieces of bacon around 10 a.m., followed by dinner at 5 p.m., consisting of 10 to 12 ounces of ribeye steak with one teaspoon of butter on top. I drink plain water with intermittent seltzer water, with no artificial sweeteners or sugar in them. A very interesting thing that happened once my husband and I switched to carnivore was that we stopped throwing leftover food away and we didn't have to buy snacks or fast food. Surprisingly, our food bill ended up being cut by 60%, leading us to huge financial savings, despite now having ribeye for dinner a few times a week. I must say, all of these improvements were amazing but the start was a bit rocky. I'd been eating the standard American diet for my entire life. 
I had to fully accept and understand that eating what I wanted led to me being morbidly obese and severely depressed. During the carnivore journey, I'd experienced meat aversion a few times, but I realized that it was my brain throwing a tantrum wanting sugar and carbs. Some of the immediate effects I noticed from transitioning to the carnivore way of eating were that I stopped retaining fluid, my joints stopped hurting, my glucose levels did not need to be regulated by medicine anymore, and my brain fog lifted. I noticed that four to six weeks into doing the carnivore diet, I no longer woke up and told my husband that I wish I hadn't woken up. And now, I began to value myself. I realized that I was not tied to how much I weighed. Apart from the immediate health and the financial benefits, the carnivore diet tastes amazing, and the level of satiety from having fatty cuts of meat allows me to save a lot of money. Cooking now is extremely simple, plus the cleaning is also very simple, and we make half the trash that we did before. There has not been a single point on my journey that I have wanted to quit the carnivore diet. Had I carried on with the standard American diet, my early demise was a sure thing. Yes, carnivore has been a bit difficult, but it has also forced me to grow and fully understand why and how I got to being 360 pounds. Plus, no other dietary intake has given me room to remove my addiction to sugar and carbs. And having gone through all this grind, this is what happened. After 12 months of doing the carnivore diet, I lost a staggering 121 pounds. Yes, that's true. Seeing the dramatic change in the number felt amazing. However, I had come to realize during this journey that the number now on the scale does not mean a lot. It's all the small, non-scale victories that truly are the most important. Things like being able to do basic hygiene, being able to lean over and put my own shoes on, not having to use a walker anymore at 32 years old, walking my four dogs every single day, no longer being dejected about my life, being able to leave the house, being happy with myself, loving myself despite not being that perfect number on the scale, and going from hardly moving to now hiking five to eight miles a few times a week. Believe me, the biggest change is wanting to live and to improve the world for others each day, no matter how small of an impact it is. Surprisingly, I no longer have type two diabetes. Plus, I am also considered to be within the normal range of insulin now, which is absolutely amazing for me. Plus, now I can also type on the computer without feeling any joint pain as earlier. Within a period of just 10 to 12 months, I went from hardly being able to move to being able to walk, bike, hike, and paddleboard. I must say, choosing to go carnivore was not a miracle, but it surely opened up the space available for myself and my mind to deal with the problems I had. I just can't believe I was so consumed with eating bad food all the time, filled with chemicals and seed oils. And after shifting to carnivore, my back pain slowly got better, and I no longer use a walker, but I still have it. I will probably keep it forever as a reminder of how far I've come. Also, my GERD symptoms were gone within two months, and I have dropped two categories of being morbidly obese. Over the next year, my goal is to get to a normal weight and to no longer be considered obese. I take multivitamins, but I'd like to eventually taper off my antidepressants. But because I've been taking them for 21 years, it may take some time, but I'm okay with that. My goal is to be medication-free, which is a drastic change. What was more drastic was being 32, using a walker, being overweight, and being in a lot of pain. Life was really miserable back then, and now it is totally different. I love waking up and going for my morning mile walk with my husband and my dogs and deeply enjoying the small things in life that I missed before. Well, friends, that brings us to the end of this incredible journey. From 360 pounds to a life full of hope and health, it's absolutely clear that the right choices can lead us to transformative results. If this story inspired you, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to share your own experience in the comments section. Your support encourages us to keep bringing more such inspiring stories to you. Are you looking for more motivation and tips on health and fitness? Stay tuned to Shape Squad. We have a wealth of content to guide you on your own journey to better health. Don't forget to subscribe and join our community for more empowering and motivational content. Keep watching, keep learning, and let's keep growing with Shape Squad. See you in the next video.